Hey Hoopa, it's Deanne Love here. In this video, we are going to look at some safe and fun flowy tricks that you can do with a bigger size weighted hoop. Whether you have bought it on some uh, infomercial that said that weighted hooping is epic for you, or you've made yourself a big, beautiful mama hoop like this one. I'm using a 105 centimeter, which is about 41 inches in diameter. And uh, the hoop pipe is one inch, so that's 25 millimeters. Um, and this is actually pretty much the size that I learned all of my foundation tricks with. But looking back, some of those weren't super safe. So in this video, we are going to look at some really safe nurturing ways that you can flow on and off your body with a bigger size hoop. One of the things that can happen if you are rocking a big size hoop is you might be doing a lot of waist hooping and you can hit a rut or a plateau because you think there's nothing else. You just have to rock out on your waist, which is super fun and amazing. And I totally stay there and enjoy the joy that that brings. But sometimes you want to try something a little bit different on and off the body. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So grab your hoop. Now, also at the end, what we're going to do is put all the tricks together in a flow. So it's a sequence where you can move seamlessly in and out of your big, beautiful hoop. So did I say grab your hoop? Grab it now. Let's go. Okay, so one of the tips that I have if you are using quite a heavier hoop off your body is that you use a two-point hold. That means that your hands are either on the outside or the inside and you are balancing the weight of the hoop with two hands. And what this is going to do is stop any pulling on the joints, any potential injuries, uh, hands, wrists, shoulders, a wherever, any neck tension, any pain. Because what you might find is if you are new to hooping or you're getting back into it with a bigger, heavier weighted hoop, that the hoop can get away from you. And when that happens, we're not in alignment, we're not in control, and then we can feel overtaxed and get injuries. We don't want to do that. So let's begin with our hands on the inside here, and we're going to do an orbit. Come with me. Even if you know this move, just let's just rock it out for a little bit here. So our hands are on the inside and we start at the front, the side, the back, the side. Now a modification here, if this is not comfortable for your shoulders, you don't need to crunch and push in. What you can do is hold your hoop down low here and you can actually get some really beautiful kind of carving from side to side movement in your belly in your ribs, in your shoulder blades, and even perhaps weight shifting side to side. So you can see that the move doesn't have to be fast and it doesn't have to be super complex to bring a full body expression. So try it with me. You can turn around in a circle this way or the other way, just repositioning your hands to wherever you need to make this beautiful and comfortable for you. Remember, this is hooping. It's all about nourishment. And if you choose... You could be rocking the boat, maybe shrugging your shoulders up and down. And what I really invite you to do is to start to bring awareness to where you can flow movement through your whole entire body. If you are hooping on your waist with a, a bigger size hoop or any size hoop really, and you're getting a bit stuck or you're like, oh, geez. <laughs> Hooping is not a punishment. If you are doing this for weight loss or you're doing this because you're having some stuff with your beautiful, amazing, incredible, intelligent body, then I really invite you to bring in some joy. And that's what this one is all about. So, oh, and you know what? If you are finding this really challenging, so I make it look easy because I've been doing this basically every day for 14 years. But when I first picked up, this is, I was, you know, I was really putting my body in jeopardy because I didn't know, I hadn't built up the strength. And maybe that's the same for you. Link somewhere, 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 seven day waist hooping challenge on hooplovers.tv or learn.hooplovers.tv. Yeah. <laughs> and that will help you in seven days, you're going to build up the strength, the stamina, and you'll have this. Okay. So orbit, one direction and the other. Now let's go same second move, hands on the inside and we're going to isolation barrel roll. Now you can do this with any size hoop but this is a beautiful one for releasing tension in the neck, shoulders, making movement in the wrists. 
If you are prone to getting dizzy, take this one slow, step around, take some big deep breaths. If you're feeling like you got some pace, some speed to it, you can go in one direction and then the other. Now, because this is all about flow, try putting those two together now. The hand position doesn't move around the body. When the hoop comes to the front, drive one direction and then the other. Now, notice that as I do this isolation barrel roll, the hoop stays in that exact same plane. So if you're finding that it's kind of going all over the place, line yourself up with the edge of the wall, the road, wherever you are at, and keep the hoop in that alignment. So imagine that it's kind of painting a line on the floor or on the grass or on the wherever you're hooping, and it just stays there. And so you allow your shoulders your elbows, your wrists, your hands to be in a position that keeps you open. Bit of heart activation as you move around there. Okay, let's go into another move where we go from this off body and then we take it on body. So let's say orbiting around. You don't have to do it in this combination. In fact, start to mix it up and then Let's say you're like, right, I feel like waist hooping now. Bring the hoop down nice and flat. Give yourself some time. You may stand in one position or you might like to turn in a circle. And what you're going to do is seamlessly, effortlessly, easily, or maybe clunky if you're like me when I was beginning, um, learning to hoop, slide your hands back, bring your hoop to your lower back, give it a nice flat spin. Oh, and there you go, your on body. So that was a transition. If you're new to hooping, a transition is that glue where we take the hoop from one trick to another trick and there has to be this flow or this line or this connection in the middle. So for example, orbiting, slow or fast, at your own pace, however you're feeling, around, and now this is the transition. So we went from the vertical plane to the horizontal plane and that little, just that really simple kind of pivot there, repositioning, to the next trick, which will be waist hooping. That's the transition, the glue between. So now we're here. Okay, I'm gonna do another video for you on footwork and arm creativity with a weighted or a bigger hoop or on body hooping, but that's later. So let's say you've been rocking out, you're practicing all your cool moves, you're dancing around, having the time of your life, but you're ready. You're gonna take this hoop off, but it's heavy. And now it has momentum. And so if you grab with uh, any of your joints, any of the parts of your body, um, some things might happen. You might have some kind of, uh, I don't want to say injury, but you may cause yourself pain. You may put yourself too abruptly in a position or you might get a bruise. And now in the beginning, I thought I was so hardcore, nothing could hold me back. I was covered in bruises, <laughs> but I don't recommend it. So here's a cruisy way to take the hoop from on the body to off the body. In the direction that your hoop is flowing, mine's going around to the left, yours might be going to the right. You are going to turn and as you turn in that direction, keep the pulse, keep the pulse, keep the pulse. If it drops, pose, pick it up, keep the pulse. And we grab at the back, but we keep the energy, we keep um, the pressure against the body so that it's not just hanging around and we're putting any pressure on any part of our body. We slide our hands forward, elbows in and raise up. So try that as many times as you like. A little turn, catch with two hands on the outside, slide, take it up, take it up, take it up. So what we're going to do is we have the hoop up at the top here and to keep it nice and soft, to keep it nice and gentle, we turn in the same direction and we're going to propel the hoop one hand and then the other. So again, we come to the top and then to keep it, not, I'm going to go around to the left. Actually, I'll show you around to the right as well. So if I go around to the left, I'm going to, when I'm ready, let go with my left hand and then bring the hoop pinky to pinky, pointer to pointer. So I'm doing this propelling move. It does not matter if the hoop drops down. It's heavy, it's weighted. There is a thing called gravity. But if you have that alternating grip, this above the head propeller, the faster you go, the more it will flatten out. But it doesn't matter. Flat does not equal like some spectacular skill level. You can float, let it be free. You could even hold two hands and spin for a little, take it down, take it up, get playful. 
And then, so if you were bringing the hoop up and you wanted to go around to the right, again, you would let go with your right hand as you bring it around with your left, support. So remember in the beginning of this tutorial, I said two hands on the hoop. And this is almost, two. you're passing from one hand to the other. Again, if this is too much for your shoulders, here is another way that you can pass the hoop. So perhaps you grab, take the hoop up. I'm sure you're practicing and playing with this right now. And you may go straight into propeller. But if your shoulders or even your heart rate, if it's feeling a little bit intense, this is a, a great way to work out and raise the heart rate. What we're going to do is then give the shoulders a rest but pass around the body. So we're still getting that activation through the arms. We're still finding all the benefits, all the flow, all the toning of hooping that we enjoy. But a hoop is moving down and around at it. So there's not too much pressure on our shoulders. So what we're going to do is knuckles up at the front, pass the hoop around and knuckles up at the back. Now, there is a tendency to grab the hoop here because you... In the beginning, you don't really know what you're like, where, where's that hoop at? So you're probably going to grab it with your knuckles down, in which case would cause you to twist the hoop. So it, or <laughs> drop it. So it doesn't stay flat. If you want it to stay flat, then you're going to keep your palms down, knuckles up. Palms down, knuckles up. Give yourself some time. If you do want to twist it, then you're going to do that same passing at the belly, passing at the back, passing at the belly, but you're twisting. All right, so let's do a little recap of that because there's a lot going on there. We took the hoop from on our belly. How did this feel? Taking it up and off. And we can go propeller, check the transition here. When you're ready, right hand brings the hoop around, passes it to the left if you're going to the left. And if you were propelling to the right, Left hand brings it around, passes it to the right. Troubleshooting tip, very important. Again, like I said at the beginning, this hoop, this size hoop has a lot of weight. So it can go a bit further than is safe. So what you really want to do is absorb the movement by moving yourself. You do not have to go fast. And once you get really familiar with the weight, the pace of the hoop, you can start to pass your hoop up and down and all around without putting any stress or too much overextension in any part of your body. Okay, we're almost there and we're going to flow it together. So we've been having a great time. We've been passing the hoop around in both directions. We're feeling really gentle, really nurtured, starting to work up a sweat and we want to go back onto our body. So to take it back onto the body, we're going to bring the hoop up in a halo, holding the hoop like this, <laughs> because it's quite heavy, is a bit of a workout. So I'll show you how to do it quite seamlessly without putting any too much pressure on this arm. But you're going to take the hoop up, palm on the inside here. This first hand is going to rotate palm out, bring the hoop down, press it against your back, and spin again. And give yourself as many practices as that as you need. So let's say you're passing around. You're going to take the hoop up, hold, grip on the outside, instantly pull back. Give yourself your neck, your shoulders space. Hand on the inside, hand on the inside. Draw it down and spin. Then you are ready to rock out there. Okay. Ha. Ah, now it's time to try a flow. So come along with me. Remember, hands on the inside or the outside two-point support. As much movement in your body as is free-flowing. Let's try this little flow. We're going to flow all those tricks together. So we start here and we're going to push out and in. Come with me. Out and in. This is just a little warm-up for the heart. Out and in. When you're ready, let's start rocking the hoop around in one direction. And then the next time you come to the front, pulsing, orbiting, swaying around in the other direction. The next time you come to the front, we're going to turn to the left, right hand to the hip, open up the heart, over to one side, 
back to that centre. Opposite direction. A little orbit to bring the hoop down onto the body. Remember to slide the hands back, push the hoop onto your lower back. And here we are, rocking out on the belly. Freedom in the hands, the arms, shoulders, elbows. When you feel ready, two hands on the outside, turn in a circle, slide the hands forward, elbows in, reach up for the sky, propeller if you can. And if not, you can go straight into passing. When you feel ready, bring the hoop down, pass it to the other hand and flowing around. Maybe in the opposite direction. Remember, not letting the hoop get away from you. So anytime you start to speed up and you're extending, bring the hoop closer. Stay with it in connection, in control. Bring the hoop up, second hand on the inside, replace. Bring it down on the waist, rock it out. Let's try that one more time. There is absolutely no need to speed it up. You're probably gonna be feeling warm and totally in flow at any pace that feels very safe and yummy for you. Okay, let's go. Out and in and out and in, out and in. Open your heart. Yes, orbit. One direction, orbit. Other direction, isolation barrel roll. Opposite direction. Bring it down against the lower back. If you choose here as well, here's a little modification. If you're practicing both directions, grab on the outside, opposite direction. Grab, grab. Nice tall posture. When you feel ready, grab, grab, slide forward, up to the sky. Propel here if you can. Otherwise, let's move into passing. You can get creative here. Under one leg. Bring the hoop up, flow with it, go with it. In sync, down onto the body, press against. Give it a nice flat spin and instantly start pulsing. When you feel ready, two hands on the back and pose. <laughs> okay, so there you have some safe, flowy, beautiful movements where you can be working with upper, middle, and look, full body expression with a weighted or heavier hoop. If you have any questions or uh, you want to see more flow, more tricks with a bigger size hoop, if you're loving these big juicy mamas, then please let me know in the comments down below. But I am going to make another video for you on some footwork and some ways to dance inside your hoop. Okay, big hoop love from me to you. Mwah.